Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 20. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about classes and IDs. So in the previous tutorial, we talked about divs and spans and I showed you the difference between inline and block level elements. Uh, and we're going to take that one step further with uh, some more divs and spans in this tutorial, but I'm going to show you guys how to really leverage the power of that with some classes and IDs. So uh, right now I have a paragraph on the page and uh, this paragraph, uh, if I zoom in a little bit, uh, you can see it just has normal text uh, right now, but I do want this line over here to be green and then I want this line over here to be red and then I want this last um, sentence over here to have some blue text, right? So taking a look at this in the browser right now, uh, if I zoom in, uh, it's all pretty much normal text. It's not styled, right? So I'm going to surround my green sentence with a span tag. And then I'm going to end that off over here. And then I'm going to surround my red text with another span tag. And I'm going to end that off at the end of the red sentence. And then for the last sentence, the blue sentence, I'm going to also create a span tag and I'm going to end that off at the end of the sentence, right? So now all of them are surrounded in span tags and we know from the previous tutorial that I can style a span. So now uh, because I wanted green text over here, I could just go over, select my span tag, oops, uh, select my span tag and then uh, type in uh, color green and that'll change the text color to green. So if I come back here and hit refresh, well, now it's changed all of our spans and all of the text in our spans to green. So we might want something a little bit more unique to identify this green text. And we might want something else more unique to identify this uh, red text. And again, uh, we want something more unique to identify the blue text. So uh, this is where classes come in handy because now I can take my first span tag and give that a class of green. And then I can go over to my second span tag where I want red text and I can give that a class of red. And uh, in fact, this might just look a little bit more tidy if I put all my spans on a new line, even though they won't display in a new line, uh, it's just gonna look tidier, right? You can see this better. And then let's give um, the last one a class of blue, right? So now we've got these three classes over here. And uh, because I want this one to be green, I wanna select this element by its class. So I'm gonna jump back over to my uh, CSS file and then I'm gonna remove that span selector and I'm gonna add in a new selector over here. So I'm gonna start off with a period or a full stop or a dot, or whatever you wanna call this thing. And what that does is tells CSS, yo, listen up. We are gonna use a class to style uh, our content and the class name that we wanna use is gonna be this class over here, which is green. And you could obviously name it anything you wanted. You are not limited to uh, your name as long as you don't have spaces, right? So you can't have green and then uh, text because these would be two completely separate classes. Um, so if you want to name your tech or your class something, then it has to be green dash text, whatever it needs to be one word. Uh, whenever you have two words, those are seen as two completely different classes. Uh, so let's come back here now. And now that we've selected our first paragraph or our first span uh, by the uh, uh, class, the class of green, let's come, let's save, let's come back over the browser and hit refresh. And uh, now you can see that this text is green, uh, but the rest of it is all black normal text. And we can do the same thing with this red text. So uh, let me copy the class or the styling and I'm gonna change this class to uh, the class that we gave to our red text, which is in this case is just red. And I'm gonna change the color of that to red. And we can do the exact same thing for blue. So let's go over here and just change that last class to blue. 
and that one says blue as well. So let's save, come back here and hit refresh. And whoopsie, uh, <laughs> I made a slight mistake. I didn't change the color of my blue text to blue, right? So now that I've done that, I've got some green text, I've got some red text, and I've got some blue text. So that's how you identify um, uh, elements by class, and it gives you a little bit more power to actually um, select text exactly where you want it selected. Uh, now the same thing applies to IDs, right? We could also give each one of these spans an ID instead of a class. So um, let me just remove uh, that class and I'll change it to an ID attribute. Um, oopsie. So let's change all our classes to IDs. And now we've got an ID of green, an ID of red, and an ID of blue, right? Uh, and if I come back over to my CSS, there's something I'm gonna have to change because like I said, a full stop tells the uh, CSS, hey, listen up, we're gonna use a class. Right, so if you're ever wanting to style elements with an ID, you need to use a different symbol over here. Uh, because if we save all of this and come back and refresh, you'll see that we've lost all our styling. Uh, the text that was supposed to be green is no longer green, and so, so on and so forth. Uh, so to select an element by ID, you use the hash symbol. And that tells uh, CSS, yo, listen up, we're gonna select an element by an ID and the ID that we're gonna be using is green or red or blue, right? So let's save this now and come back to the browser and hit refresh. And you can see we've got the exact same result using an ID as we had using the class. Um, this text is green, that text is red, and that text is blue, and so on and so forth. So you might think to yourself, okay, yeah, I can use classes and IDs interchangeably. They're gonna be the same thing wherever, uh, whenever. And that is sort of okay, right? Um, you could use classes and IDs uh, in a very similar way, but the, the one thing about IDs is you should only ever have one element on your page with the same ID. So uh, right now this one has an ID of green. If I were to copy this and paste this further down where I also wanted some more green text, right? Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, it might not be a problem in CSS, so if I uh, refresh this, you can see the, the CSS has worked. This text has indeed been styled green. Uh, but if I were to uh, validate this, um, so let's validate by file upload and let me uh, upload my uh, index file, right? Uh, I should get an error because I've used two of the same ID. Uh, and here you can see. Uh, duplicate ID. So that is a problem, right? You should never use two elements with the same ID. This is especially a problem when you come to learning JavaScript in future. If you ever want to select an element by ID and there's suddenly two elements with the same ID, uh, it's going to cause issues, right? So don't use more than one ID or don't use two elements with the same ID. Rather, uh, if you want uh, elements to have the same kind of styling and you wanna use that same class in multiple places, use a class, don't use an ID. And uh, yeah, that is all I have for you in this video and I'll see you guys next time. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below, and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon, and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out, so follow me on social media and check out some more of my content, and I'll see you guys next time.